Hi, I'm Lucy Bunning, an associate teaching professor in NU Immerse, an international pathway program for multilingual students who are developing their English language proficiency. I'm also the lead faculty member for Community Learning 2, a service learning course in which students partner with a nonprofit organization in the Boston area to develop their professional English communication skills. Most often, they're partnered with after school programs as tutors or activity assistants or with older adults as friendly visitors or technology tutors. In this video, you're going to see several students reflecting on their semester. You'll see them traveling to and exploring their service sites, talking about the work that they did there and the growth that took place over the semester. I hope you enjoy. Or, uh, I took Professor Lucy Bunning's Community Learning to the semester, and my job is doing a tutor in NH at the English High School in Jamaica Plain. I came from Beijing, China, and let's go on to see what is the last day of my tutoring job. This is a TZ that we call Tutoring Center. In today's class, we're going to draw the data graph by the growth of their plant. Jordan is finding his locations for each point. And then this is C, right? Looking back at the semester, the most challenging thing is how to communicate with others, especially for kids. Um, I have to stay them focused on the class and the content. But everything goes so well that I learned how to tutor others. This is definitely one of the most impressive experience for me. In the first so, focusing on today's topic. I'm an education tutor for Boys and Girls Club. It was the art week this week, so when we entered the club, we can saw a lot of masterpieces from the kids. This might be my way to passing our Chinese culture. Look, I find a genius in our club. Look how fast he's doing it. I'm using my Chinese styles of math equations to teach kids which at first the kids wouldn't trust me, but it turns out it's the question has been solved by me. It's really efficient and quick, and I'm really proud of it. Hello, my friend. I am Ding Nuo Xiao, a molecular cell and chemistry student from China. It's Wednesday, and welcome to the day in my life at XS. Access is a religiously integrated place, so when I first came to Access, I was a little nervous and overwhelmed because I didn't know how to interact with the kids and how to properly relate to them. So I was just a bystander. But as I went to Access more and more, I gradually learned this thing. For example, I would ask them about their wishes for the day and write them on the bro before they ate their snacks and lead them in pair, and I would like play game with children after they finish their homework. I have great time at access. It helped me to let go of my fear as a newcomer to Boston and to enjoy in the city, the community, and I'm grateful for this experience. Hello, I'm Kiki. My major is business and math, and I'm from Hangzhou, China, a city in the south of China. I volunteer at Yaki Boys and Girls Club. To the second question, looking ahead, I continue to exercise my patient uh, adaptability and solve many difficulties. These experiences will have a positive impact on my future interpersonal relationships and work life. I will looking for opportunity to volunteer and continue contribute to my community and ask to continue to utilize the skill and experiences I have gained in the organization so far. Hi everyone, my name is Yu Ru Hu Sarah and I major in communication and media study. This experience have greatly improved my expression ability and social skills and this influence will also benefit me for life at the end of the video i'd like to share some photos i took during my service in fact i have no idea that my thoughts had significantly changed i was reluctant to leave my grandparents in the rose lindale community from the beginning to the end this service has become a precious memory for me.